Hello friends, welcome back to our CCNA 200-301 series. Today is day 44. In day 44, we are going to discuss about SVI, that is layer 3 switch SVI. In our previous video, we already discussed about three methods. Let's me revise. Uh, actually, we are dealing with inter-VLAN. We know that inter-VLAN is nothing but uh, make, uh, making communication or we can say in other words inter vlan is nothing but a allowing a two different vlan to communicate with each other in simple words we can say inter vlan is nothing but a making a communication between two different vlan as we know that vlan cannot communicate so we can say with the help of inter vlan we can make communication between two different vlan and we have two dif uh, three different methods to do this one first one we have router Router with separate interface and second one is the router on a stick and third one is a layer 3 switch. So first one we have drawback we have uh, how many VLAN we have that that many link we need to have. That is in a, if example if I have 20 VLAN then I need to connect 20 uh, link to the router and it is not practical so this method is we are not using. But in some organization if they have low uh, like uh, 2 VLAN 3 VLAN they can use this one. In some scenario, we can use this one, but drawback we have issue with this one. So we go for router on a stick in router on a stick. What we done, we create one. We use only one link, but here we dividing a sub a sub interface. We are dividing main interface into sub interface. That is logical interface and we are doing the inter VLAN. But drawback here is we have only one link. If this link go down, then all the communication between all the VLAN will go down. To overcome this one, we are going for SVI. That is switch virtual interface. See, this is a SVI. Here, what we do, we have one switch that is layer 3 switch. That's why it is also known as layer 3 switch or SVI. We are using layer 3 switch to make the SVI. That is switch virtual interface. So in this scenario, what we will do? We are taking a layer 3 switch. We are taking one layer 3, layer 3 switch and same thing we are taking one PC uh, like 192.168.10.2 and 10.3 in the HR department. For our simple city, for our lab, I am taking only two PC that is two lab, two computer in HR department and two computer in IT department. I am connecting this to the switch uh, switch port that is G1 by 0 by 1 and G1 by 0 by 2 here 0 by 3 0 by 4. So this I connected in this switch we are going to create a VLAN and we are going to configure SVI in this switch. Okay, so it will work after this video we will have another video in that we are going to design a campus network by using one server one layer 2 switch, one layer 3 switch, we are going that one, okay? So with this method, what advantage we have? If this link go down, we have still this communication, this communication. But if we see the, our last method, example, if we see this one, if this link go down, if this link go down, then we have all the communication is down. If you see this, if this link go down, all the communication between all the VLAN will go down. But compared to our router on uh, compared to SVI, we have uh, like this. We have how many links? We have four links. Example, if this go down, we still we have communication with this. So for that purpose, we are using SVI. So now we are going to see the configuration of SVI and we are going to do the lab in packet tracer. Okay. So see here, this is our uh, basic configuration. What we learned till now, if I want to create a VLAN, what I will write? VLAN 10, VLAN 20, I will write, okay. So let me write, I missed some configuration here. What I will write here, anyhow I wrote in the notepad here, I forget to copy from here to here. So let me copy and paste in our notes. So when anyone request, I can send this note, so it will not have the missing one, okay. So let me copy and paste here, and after that I will explain to you. So if we see here, what we have, this is a basic configuration what we done before, what we done, okay. So this one, 
see what we have first we will enable the switch then we will go in the config t to go in the global configuration mode and then i change the name to the switch our wish we can write any name then we have two vlan so i will create vlan 10 vlan 20 i will give one name as hr vlan 10 as hr vlan 20 as it then i will see the interface what interface i have if you see here we have interface g1 by 0 by 1 g1 by 0 by 2 so i will assign here interface range g1 by 0 by 1 dash 2 and then switch port mode axis vlan 10 and switch port mode axis this is our basic configuration we done in our last video and from in our old video in previous video we already cover this one if you have confusion or any query any doubts you can see that video okay so now we assign this to it now we need to look for other also this is this configuration we done from here to here so now i am going to do this configuration so i will look this is it department this is connected to 1 by 0 by 3 1 by 0 by 4 so how i can write i will write int range g1 by 0 by 3 dash 4 then switch port mode axis vlan 20 and switch port mode axis so this is a configuration we learn already we know this already in our previous labs whatever we done from that we know all this okay this is a new thing we are going to learn this is a svi configuration so first thing this is a layer 3 switch in this layer 3 switch routing is disabled by default so we need to first enable the routing so what we will write ip routing ip routing if we forget to write this one we will have the issue so first of all we need to enable the routing so we will write ip routing then interface vlan 10 and then we will assign the ip address ip address 192.168.10.1 and subnet mask no shirt why i am writing this 192.168.10.1 because see here for this department i taken this ip 192.168.10.2 10.3 and here if i see here let me show you here if i see here what default gateway i assign i assign default gateway here is 192.168.10.1 I assign 10.1 as a default gateway so whatever default gateway I assign we need to create that one in the SVI so that's why I wrote here int VLAN 10 then IP address 192.168.10.1 this is a default gateway for our PC so we need to write that one and after that subnet mask then we will write no shirt same thing we will do here what we will do we will write int VLAN 10 that is VLAN one number whatever number we are giving we are giving 20 so we will follow same thing then IP address 192.168.20.1 and then subnet mask no shirt so this is a basic configuration easy right now we will copy this configuration paste in the switch so first I will copy from here this is a switch configuration I will copy this then I will go in the packet tracer I will open this I will go in the CLI see here device must be power on so this is power off we need to go and power on how we will power on we will put the power here this is a AC power supply I will drag I will put here I will take one more I will keep here so we have now power supply then I will click CLI then this switch is loading we need to wait then press enter now we will do configuration i will write no now i am going to paste the configuration whatever we wrote see here no issue here we change the name to the switch that is multi switch then we create a vlan 10 and we give an hr name as hr then we create a vlan 20 and we give name as it then we assign the port from here to here then again we assign the port to the other vlan so this our configuration done if i want to check what i can do i can write show vlan brief so with this one we can check i have two vlan now that is vlan 10 vlan 20 and this port are assigned to vlan 10 and this port are assigned to vlan 20 okay this is the configuration for vlan done now if we ping it will not work because still it is not 
uh, routing feature is not enabled and we did not done inter VLAN. This is a normal VLAN we created. If we want to check communication is happening or not, we can do. How we will do? We will go in the computer and we will ping 192.168.20.4. 20.4 because this IP address is 20.4. So we will check request timeout because they both are in different uh, IP address, different class, different network. 192.168.10.2 this is 20.2 so both are in different network same class but different network so they they cannot communicate and they are in the different VLAN also see here what I wrote this interface is in HR department and default gateway is 192.168.10.1 and these are the IT department default gateway is 20.1 this one so they both are in different VLAN they cannot communicate so now we are going to configure this one okay so I, I will copy this before pasting this one we need to go and enable the routing okay so what I will do I will go in the global configuration mode then I will write IP routing now it is enable IP routing so what I will do I will paste the configuration whatever configuration I copy here this is a configuration to enable to create a VLAN 10 and assign the IP address in the switch. So I will go here and I will paste the configuration. See here, we created a, a switch virtual interface. We created inter, uh, int VLAN 10 and we assigned the IP address and we wrote no shut. Same thing we done int VLAN 20 and we assigned the IP address and no shut. Okay, so now we can write uh, show run and we can check the configuration if we see here this is the interface what we assign and if we same thing here same thing whatever interface we assign if we go down see here we can see we created a VLAN 10 and we assign the IP address and if we see here we created a VLAN 20 and we assign the IP address okay so two VLAN we done so now if we see show IP interface brief we will have here see here this is a VLAN whatever we created and we assign the IP address so our configuration is okay now we can save the configuration I will write WR to save the configuration now what we can do now we can ping and start we, we can ping so if I open this one and if I open this PC this PC the one which we are pinging before it is not working I will do same thing here now so let's see reply will come or not okay first one it will go for ARP and then reply is coming so our lab is successful done if you see here our lab successful done two different department cannot communicate before now they are communicating with each other okay so with the help of inter VLAN that is SVI we created a SVI and with the help of SVI two different department is communicating so this is our lab successful done what we done we created a inter we created a interface VLAN 10 and we assigned the IP address and no shirt same thing we done for interface 20 means in our uh, in this lab what we done we taken multi layer switch that switch is working switch as well as router and we enable the router features and we assign the IP address okay by using the command IP routing we enable the routing feature in the switch so this is a basic lab for SVI in our next video I am planning to do a real scenario that is a, a small campus where we have the different VLAN and one server so we need to assign them to communicate with each other we need to do that configuration so very soon I am going to bring that lab thank you very much for seeing our video like our video, subscribe to our channel, share with your friend who is interested in CCNA 200-301 series. See you. Bye.